you ever wonder why some cars have these trumpet looking things on their air intakes? Well, it's not just for looks or because they're in the van. It's science. It's for movie science. This week's episode, I'm going to explain it like I'm 12. I'm going to be talking to you guys about velocity stacks and how they relate to the Lewis equation. And that's where velocity stacks come in. Velocity stacks are like a funnel for air. They have smooth surfaces that promote laminar flow, which means that we get the air directly into the engine as efficiently as possible, as opposed to a straight pipe that would be turbulent air. That you can think of as the equivalent of trying to drink your milkshake out of a crooked straw. Who wants that? So we all know that engines breathe in air, and the more air that you can get in smoothly and quickly, the more power that you can make. And so this is where Bernoulli's equation comes in play. So Bernoulli's equation says as pressure drops, velocity increases. So this big diameter has the high pressure slow moving air and it pushes it into a smaller diameter on the inside as you can see. And that causes the pressure to drop and the velocity to increase. So slow moving air gets sucked into the engine really fast and efficiently. You can think of it like when you're riding your bike and you wanna go faster, you have to tuck in a little bit, right? The air goes smoothly around you, you get to go fast. So the velocity stack is the version of tuck in for the engine. So the takeaway is the velocity stack taking in the high pressure, slow moving air, funneling it down to a smaller diameter, which speeds up the velocity and decreases the pressure, which means more air faster into the engine, more air equals more power. So velocity stacks are really like free horsepower from physics.